Assalamualaikum. In this lecture, we learn about the uh, MCQs relating to biological molecules, the most important MCQs which appear mostly in the exams. So let's start. In order to estimate the quantity of the glucose in solution, equal volumes of a range of known concentrations were mixed with equal excess volume of the Benedict solution and placed in a thermostatically controlled water bath 90 degree centigrade for same length of time. The unknown solutions were then used in the same way and the colors of the known and the unknown solutions were compared. What is the independent variable in this procedure? Concentration of glucose will be independent variable because all other things are dependent upon this. So option A here is the right one. A student carried out the Benedict test on the four different concentrations of the glucose solution and then recorded to the time taken for the first appearance of a color change. The student found it difficult to identify the first appearance of a color change and consistently timed the each solution for two seconds after it had happened. Then he introduced the source of the error into the experiment. What can be the course of the uh, kind of the error which is the correct? The effect of the error will be reduced if the student performs three repeats at each concentration of the glucose. Yes, it can be. The error will The error will prevent the student from identifying the which solution has the highest concentration of the glucose. Yes, it can prevent because uh, sometimes it happens that the end product is end of the result is changed because of the change in the time and the change in that particular um, requirements of the experiment. So the error is systematic. Yes, the error is systematic because it has increased the, um, the time duration of all the experiments in the case of all the concentrations of glucose so as the, the error is systematic as a student consistently timed the e solution for two seconds after the end point yes this error will be systematic so we can say that point three is the right so option d here is the right answer a student carried out four tests for biological molecules on a solution the observations are shown in the table the test for biological molecules and observations, right? So let's start the ideal solution. Give on screen. It means that the no starch is present. Starch is absent. By unit test gives purple color. It means proteins are present. Panetic solution gives on screen. It means that somehow the reducing sugars can be present to in a fewer amount. Emulsion becomes cloudy and it means that the lipids are present. So which molecules may be present in this solution? So let's check. This solution can contain the lipids because uh, we can say that the emulsion test gives a positive result here. And it, proteins can also be present because biunit test is giving the positive result. And glucose is also present uh, a low amount because the magnetic solution is giving the orange color so we can say option b here is the right one which bonds are found in the glycogen whenever we see the structure of the glycogen we can say that the uh, alpha 1 4 glycosidic bonds and the alpha 1 6 glycosidic bonds are present in the glycogen so option b here is the right one which overlaps both bonds A student carried out the four tests for the biological molecules. These observations are shown in the table. Iodine test gives orange color means no uh, starch is present. Starch is not present. Biuri test gives purple color means some kind of protein can be present. Benedict solution gives orange color means the reduced sugars are present in very low amount. Emulsion is clear that the lipids are not present they are absent right so which molecule are present in the solution it can be protein molecule so we have to find out that particular option which has the structure related to the protein so and re related to the protein and somehow the reducing sugars the four structures are given here and we have to find out the correct option here so we can say that option c uh, option b here is the right answer because it corresponding that this is the reducing sugar and this is the protein so option b here is the right answer test for the biological molecules were carried out on the three solutions 
these observations were as follows solution 1 gives were tested with the paralytic test and then it gives a blue to orange color it means that reduced sugars are present in but in low amount solution 2 gives a paralytic test after acid hydrolysis blue to red means that reduced sugars are present solution 3 that by urine test gives blue to purple color means the proteins are present which observations would show the solutions that contain the sucrose in amylase means amylase means protein and sucrose means sugar non reducing sugar so we can say option 2 and 3 are the correct one because sucrose is a non reducing sugar which gives the red color with panadex solution after acid hydrolysis so option c it is a right one the diagram shows the apparatus set up to investigate the effect of putting a 10% glucose solution in a selectively permeable bag whisking tubing this is the whisking tube and we can see here and surrounding it with the water samples from the surrounding water were tested with a benedict solution after 10 minutes and after 20 minutes the change in the volume of the glucose solution was observed after the 20 minutes so which row is correct and what which which is showing the correct answer related to this after result of the benedict test and the volume of the glucose solution row so let's check result of the benedict test will show after 10 minutes it will show the green color right green color and the after 20 minutes it will show the orange color means with the passage of time the uh, the solution is changing its time more continuously and the reduced sugar present in that particular sample is a uh, testing is uh, reacting with the benedict reagents more efficiently and will giving the more rapid color change so after 10 minutes the color will be green and then after 20 minutes it will change to orange and <coughs> volume of the glucose solution in the whisking tube and it will increase because water will get inside the um, tube and then the volume will increase itself so option b here is the right answer the color of a positive panadic test is due to the formation of the copper oxide the mass of the copper oxide is proportional to the mass of the reduced sugar is present yes it is the more the amount of the reduced sugar present the more the mass of the copper oxide will present sample of the fruit juices were tested for the presence of the reducing sugars and non reducing sugars using the panadic test the result shows the mass of the copper oxide after boiling with the benedict solution and after acid hydrolysis and boiling with the benedict solution so what can we um, expect here what sample contained in the most known reducing sugars mass of the precipitate per milligram so after boiling with the benedict test it can be 30 and after acid hydrolysis and boiling with the benedict solution they cannot be same so option a is not correct and they are strange whenever we boil with the benedict test it will also the only the reduced sugar is present in the sample will react with the benedict reagent and will give the red color so but when we will uh, perform the acid hydrolysis and then we'll do the benedict test and the all the non reduced sugars will all be converted back into the reducing ones and obviously the uh, concentration of copper oxide will enhance after is in hydrolysis so we can say that option b here is the right answer because this is the option only option which is showing that the firstly the concentration of copper oxide is lower and then after is in hydrolysis and then with the benedict solution it becomes greater than this particular one so option b here is the right answer the table shows the result of the test carried out on a sample of the biological molecules Benedict test was done then the color was blue means her sugars are absent sugars are not present by urine gives a purple color means the uh, somehow the proteins are present iodine gives blue black color means starch is present so we shows the type of the molecules present in the sample let's check
so we have said that proteins are present yes the proteins are present reduces sugars are absent and starch is present so option c here is the right answer so i will uh, finish my lecture here till the next lecture stay tuned in allah hafiz